All right, first thing we're going to do is we're going to open up the aqua ports to start the annual maintenance. Twist the lock, remove the panel. On the panel, we'll have a bunch of the information along with a QR code where you can actually get additional information about um, the service manual and what you should be doing on it. This will be really easy and simple. Three things. First thing you want to do is check all your connections to make sure that they're dry and not weeping. Uh, you want to uh, place specific attention onto the weep holes on the proportional control valve to make sure that those are dry. Next thing you want to do is close the valves for service. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to remove the drain cap to connect a, a drain hose to remove the pressure so that we can actually check the strainers in these two connections. Connect your drain hose. With your drain hose connected, make sure your shutoff valves and isolation valves are closed and then open up the drain to relieve pressure and remove any water from the unit. What also may be helpful is to open up the vent at the top of the heat exchanger. Then taking a six millimeter wrench, we look in the bucket to make sure that there is no water flowing. We can actually use the Allen wrench now to remove the strainer. Check the strainer for debris. If there's any contaminants or debris, clean it. This one looks clean. We can reinstall it in the unit. And then we can do the same for this one. And there's water coming out. Okay, and then that can be reinstalled back into the valve. And then retighten the cap. Um, before we're ready to fill, let's reclose all the valves. Start with the air vent at the top. And then we'll close the drain valve. And now we're ready to reopen the valves. So before we refill and pressurize the system back up, we need to move the drain hose from the supply to the return. Now when the drain line is installed on the return line, what you want to do is close the return valve so you're forcing pressure in one direction through the port. At that point, you're ready to open up this valve and allow the system pressure to repressurize the port. Also check and loosen the air vent to vent any air that's in that portion of the piping, along with this air vent as well. Again, as it's pressurized, make sure that all connections are tight and not leaking. The important thing to remember is you fill on the heating side of this unit, you have to open up a hot tap due to the proportional control valve
to allow heating water to go through the heat exchanger. If you don't, you'll just be pressurizing the piping and not as much as, um, as fully as you need to into the heat exchanger. Once the system is purged and filled, now we can go and close the drain valve and open the return line and remove the drain hose. Once the hose is removed, replace the drain cap. At this point, the panel is completed and inspected for its annual maintenance. We recommend that you put that information on the maintenance repair log included on the back panel. And the panel can be replaced.